quite a while back before Anthem was released, a short action film called Conviction was released by Neil Blumkamp, the director of Chappie, District 9 and Elysium. In the short film, it was a prelude before the main events of Anthem, and showed off a story of discovery, betrayal and decision making, all while basing around a Pacific girl with a strong focus. It showcased a number of characters that we know of, and many that we've never seen before, but one character that was focused on the most was a girl in a white dress. When the freelance was a story found her, she had nothing but her clothes on her back, protecting her. No weapons, no survival gear, no javelin, no nothing. Just a white dress. Confused by the sight, the freelancers took her back to their village and looked after her while trying to figure out who she is and who is after her. And that's pretty much where the story ends for her and the character, as it was only meant to get players hyped for the game. Or so we thought. At this point, the game was released, but we heard nothing back from the mistress character. Simply put, she was non-canon to the story, until now. Rumours have started to flare up again near Antium and down south about the mistress girl in white appearing in empty areas and minding her own business and then disappearing into the nearby forest, only to never be seen again. Apparently, the Antium Council are spooked by this, as this isn't the first time they've heard of this, and with the rampant speculation around this tale, I would too be afraid of a character that shouldn't be real, since it's simply a wives tale by the many. Cypher Tai Garon has been tasked with finding out from Cypher Sao Matron any information about the young girl in white. Now, although Sao keeps stating that this is just an old tale that keeps getting t retold over and over again every few years, he does inform us that some people call her Kali, the chosen one or Sistrum. Now, some say this is just a mere folk tale told every few years by someone who apparently sees her and knows that she never ages, always the same look from many other eyewitnesses. Some believe it's true, while others believe it's fake, such as Sentinel Tafna, who has gone out to key locations of the side girl, but not found anything or proof of her. No one knows whether this character, or being, is real or not, but with so many talks around the character appearing for the many in different areas, it is quite hard not to admit that the mere presence of the being is becoming more and more noticed. This is definitely not an isolated incident. Now, I tried to find in-game information about the character, but nothing has popped up just of yet. All of this information I'm providing is via a Twitter conversation, which I will link down below in the description area, between two ciphers, so take that as you will, and take everything I say with a grain of salt, as this now will be a theory. So, in terms of trying to find more information about the names, I went ahead and separated the names into Google to see what pops up. And from my discovery, I found that the name Kali is actually the name of a Hindu goddess of time, creation, destruction, and power, which in terms of Anthem's main background plot, seems to fit the bill quite well for the connections of the in-game events. Although, giving this to a character who we see nothing at all from seems out of the ordinary, considering she's only been noted to appear and disappear, nothing more than that. I would expect a name like this to be given to a character who has some sort of connection to the Anthem creation, and uses the Yampum creation's power to their own will, either both destructive or peacefully. And yet we see nothing of that at all from her. The name Sistrum now came up with a musical instrument from ancient Egypt, Ethiopia and Greece, used in religious ceremonies or to commune with the gods through shaking the instrument through its way in motion. Now Cypher Sal states that Kali is the chosen one of Sistrum, but we don't know if Sistrum is a place or an item like the one described so we can't say for sure what her purpose is just of yet. Plus, if Sistrum was a musical item for Kali to use, then where is this item exactly, and why is it that Cypher knows so much about this one item, and yet there's nothing made apparent in the popular records for everyone? With the way it's worded, I believe personally Sistrum may be an item for use for the mistress character, which has some sort of relevance to music or sound to commune with whatever she needs to commune with. If this is an item, then I guess it would be a shape of relic or old piece of tech that we've never seen before, but it was most common for the people of ancient times to use. So perhaps Kali is an agent of the Anthem creation or some higher being that we're not aware of, and is monitoring the world while reporting back to our client with the way she pops in and out of existence. Or perhaps he's a goddess, just like the real world religious example of her, and only appears once a cataclysm or a major event starts to form. All of this is pure speculation until more evidence is provided. All types of interaction or communication with her has been near impossible for those that see her, 
so we can't come to any conclusion as to who or what she is. Perhaps this is a foretelling of what's to come in the future, and Callie now plays a big role that could shape the very foundation of the world we're in. Whether she's with us or against us, only time will tell. All we can do is watch her as she admires her surroundings and then disappear without leaving a trace. Now, this was a interesting video to do as I didn't expect much from a character that was only briefly mentioned in a short live action video. And yet, Bioware are throwing hints around this character who could potentially be a foretelling into what they may be doing with the character and her growing ever so presence. I do hope she comes into the game and is more expanded around on as she's definitely a unique character with a story or two for us to find out. Now if you enjoyed the video then please do leave a like, a sub or even share the video with others with interest around the character or lore in general. But once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.